All right, guys, let's work on self-defense against the overhead attack. Somebody's coming at you, they're swinging down over the top, trying to hit you on the head. So first thing we want to do is not be here. So I'm going to step out to the side, guard, and chop. And now that guard, I'm not trying to stop the person's hand. I'm guiding it down so I can grab onto it. I can't pull that hand away. So let's do that again. Ready position. I step off, guard, chop. I grab the wrist. I'm going to bring my feet together, pull their arm down, arm. I'm going to push, pull. Their elbow's right here on mine. Boom, I'm breaking their arm. Let's do that again. I step off, guard, chop. Feet come together, arm break. Now I'm going to step behind them. Their foot is here behind mine. Elbow smash. I'm hitting them in the ribs with my side elbow. Let's do that again. Ready position. Step out, guard chop. Step together, arm break. Step behind, rib smash. Now I reach around. I still am holding on to their wrist here. I'm going to push, pull, throw the person to the ground. Punch him in the face. Let's do that again a little bit faster. So we step, guard chop, come together, arm break, step behind, rib smash, reach around, throw, punch. Good. Now let's do that from this back side. In ready position. I step, guard chop, come together, arm break. Step behind, rig smash, reach around, throw, punch. Let's do it again, right here. Step, guard, chop, together, arm break, behind, rig smash, throw, punch. Now let's pull in a partner here. I'm going to have Mr. Sassenfield. He's going to attack. Remember, if you don't have a partner, just practice it again in the air. So he's going to attack me, he's trying to hit me on top of the head. I step out, guard chop, hitting him right here on the side of that neck. I'm grabbing his wrists. I come together, arm break. Don't actually break your partner's arms, but you know, make sure you're practicing the correct motion. I step behind, rib smash, reach around. I'm going to bump, pull, push. Throw him to the ground, and punch him in the face. Let's look at that again from this side. He's going to attack me again. Step, chomp, come together, arm break, step behind, rib smash, reach around, throw, One step sparring number 11. Now, on our one steps, we alternate our legs basically. So we started out our blue belt. We start with our right leg, brown belt was our left leg, our last one was the right leg. Now we're gonna start with our left leg again. So we're gonna start being ready position. We're gonna do our inside crescent kick with our left leg. Inside crescent kick. Now I'm setting up my next kick, so I kind of turn and look. Let's do that again. So ready, inside crescent kick with our left leg, turn, look. Now we're getting set up for a spinning hook kick. We're going to kick with the leg, our right leg. So if you look down, you should see that leg right in front of you. We're going to chamber hook kick. And you've got to make sure this lands behind. If it doesn't land behind, you're going to set up the next part wrong. You've got to make sure that that kick lands behind. Let's do those two parts again. Let's go a little bit faster. Ready? Inside with the left, spin hook kick with the right, landing behind. All right, let's do it one more time. Ready? Inside, left, spin hook, right. Land behind. Now we're back in a fighting stance at this point. We're going to look at our target again. We're going to turn, look. We're going to drop down. We're going to do an iron broom sweep. Now this might be new for some of you guys. We're going to shoot our leg out, pulling it across. Notice how I'm kind of drawing my foot through. Let's do that part again. So let's go back. Right leg back, turn, drop. I put my hands down the ground. Iron broom sweep. Through. Notice how I'm drawing that foot through. 
So let's do that a couple more times. So ready, right leg, ready, turn, look, drop, hook, through, back up. All right, let's do those first three parts. Ready? So we're gonna go inside, left, spin, hook, right, turn, drop, iron burn sweep, through. Good. Now we're here, we're going to take a step forward with our left leg. We're gonna take a step forward, we're gonna do an iron burn, or sorry, not iron burn, we're gonna do an axe kick with our right leg. If you remember, it's kind of like an outside pressing kick that comes straight down like an axe. Turn your hips, axe kick, land in front, chop, hey! And now we've gone through the whole thing. Let's go through it slow a couple more times. First part, we'll go through it a little bit quicker because we've already had some practice here. Inside, spin hook, turn and look, drop, iron room sweep. We're gonna take a step with our left leg, axe kick. Let's turn around and show you guys this other angle. So follow along with me. Remember, uh, it starts with our left leg. Ready? Inside. Spin, hook kick, land behind. Turn and look over your right shoulder. Drop. Iron bird sweep. Step forward with your left leg. Axe kick with your right leg shout. Hey! A little bit faster now. Ready position? Let's do it again. Ready? Inside with the left, spin hook with the right, turn, look, drop, iron burn suit through, step forward, axe, hey! Season a few times. Okay. Four seasons, first season, we're going to go this over a few times. First thing you do, start at uh, salutation, we step back into a fighting stance. We're going to do a rear leg roundhouse. Easy kick, guys. We don't need to review this too much. So again, rear leg roundhouse. Next thing we're going to do is a sliding hook kick. Again, easy kick. We've done it before. We're just doing it in a different order than we're used to. So we can slide behind, chamber, extend, hook kick, go across. Next one we're going to do is a step through spin hook kick. Just like the previous combination, we're stepping through, setting up the kick. Step through, turn and look, spin hook, make sure we land behind. Last kick is also a bit of a review kick, but let's go through the beginning a few more times, actually. So again, start out in your fighting stance. We're doing our rear leg roundhouse, sliding hook kick, step through, spin hook kick. Perfect, let's do that again. I'm gonna go through it a bit faster. Remember, start out in fighting stance, rear leg round, slide hook, step through, spin hook, we land behind. The last kick, rear leg axe kick. I'm going to turn my hips, twisting them up, kind of like we're doing a uh, outside crescent kick, but instead of going all the way through, going straight down in front. So again, axe kick, landing with control. Um, let's go all together now. So again, in our fighting stance, rear leg round, sliding hook, step through, spin hook, rear leg. And if you technically want to be the most correct, you're going to shift into your next fighting stance for the next season. Let's go from a different angle so you guys can see the first season again. So again, rear leg, round, slide hook, step through, spin hook, axe kick. I'm going to do it facing the wall this time, so give you guys another angle. So again, start out citations, fighting stance, rear round. Slide hook, step through, spin hook, axe kick. Good. Season number two, remember we shifted, so now we're facing uh, to a different direction. So I'm just going to do it facing the camera though to make it easy on you guys. So I'm still uh, right leg back for this. I'm going to do something called a sliding double roundhouse kick. Uh, similar to the double roundhouse kick, except it's with the front leg. So I'm going to slide, chamber, low, high, double round. Let's get to that again. So just like a sliding round, but you're adding two kicks. So it's called a double round. So again, I slide, chamber one, two, double round. Next kick, also review kick. All these should be pretty much review for you. Um, sliding side kick. So again, I slide, chamber, side kick, landing in front. Let's see those two kicks again. So again, slide, double round, sliding side. Next one, a little more challenging, but not super hard, jump back kick. So again, I'm gonna turn, Point my heels, jump off both feet, side kick. So we're doing that pop up side kick, jump back. 
Alright, let's do that again. So again, I start right leg back, slide double around, slide in side, jump back, pop up, side kick. So again, I bend off both legs, pop up, side kick, final kick. Now we're going to shift to that last one, but let's go over here from the other side so you guys can see. So again, sliding double around, one, two, sliding side, jump back, pop it side. Okay guys, I'm going to put together seasons one and two now. Now notice I kind of start off to the side. Um, this kicking combination goes in a big square, so I'm going to give myself plenty of room for this. So again, that fighting stance. So again, season one, rear leg around. Next one, sliding hook kick. Slide, hook. Next one, step through, spin hook. Step through, spin hook. Make sure you land behind on that. Rear leg axe kick. Rear leg axe. Now as I finish, I shift. This is where I begin season number two now. So remember that sliding double round, sliding side kick, jump, back kick, pop, side kick. Good. And then I shift again, getting ready for season number three. Notice how I'm going in a big square. Okay, gonna show you guys season three now, facing forwards. First thing we do is an easy kick. One of you guys should know since we're white belt, sliding front kick. So again, I slide, front kick. Not gonna spend much time there, it's really easy. Next kick option, really easy too. Inside crescent kick. So again, inside crescent kick. Sets up our next kick. Still kind of easy at your butt level. Tornado kick. Inside crescent kick, tornado kick. So again, turn and look. Knee comes up. Jump. Inside crescent kick. Let's go through those again. So again, start out. Sliding front kick. Inside. Tornado. Final kick, also pretty easy, a little more challenging though for some of us. We're gonna bend both legs, pop hook kick. Think of it like a pop side kick, but you're hooking that foot across. Pop hook, that's the end of that season. I get ready for the next one. So I'll show you guys season three from this angle now. Sliding front, inside crescent kick, tornado, pop hook. Seasons one through three put together. Let's go through it all together. So I'm in my fighting stance. Rear leg round. Slide hook. Step through, spin hook. Rear axe. Shift. Ready for season two. Sliding double round. One low, one high. Sliding side kick. Jump. Back kick. Final kick on this season. Pop side. Shift. Looking towards the wall. Next season, season number three, sliding front, inside crescent kick, tornado kick, pop up, hook kick with that front leg, pop hook. From here, we're gonna step into our next season. So I'm gonna take that back leg, step, turn, heels point. Getting ready for season number four. All right guys, moving right on to our last season, season four, we're gonna start off with a really cool kick called an iron broom sweep. The idea is to kind of knock someone on the ground with it. So again, I'm going to start off with that step through to get myself ready for that. I'm going to make sure my heels are pointed. Also, I'm doing a spin back kick, but I'm going to drop down. Get my hands planted from here. I'm going to shoot my right leg through, pulling it across. Let's go through that a few more times so you get feel for it. So again, I take my left leg, I turn, drop. So I've got myself set up. I don't want to be like this. It's going to be really hard for me to get that leg through. I want to make sure there's a bit of gap here so I can get that foot to carry through. So as I carry it through, I want to make sure it doesn't end over here because it's not going to be very effective if your opponent's right in front of you. I want to make sure it carries through to knock them down. So notice how I brought it all the way through. I don't want to go too far to where I end up pointing behind them either and it doesn't have the same effect. Let's do it again. So again, I take that step, drop, down, so we're going to sweep through, and I'm going to set up a new sweep called a front sweep. So I'm going to tuck my right leg down, I'm going to shoot my left leg up, almost like a roundhouse kick. Notice how it's coming through like this. Same thing, I don't want to go too far. So again, that leg's carrying through. Let's do that a few more times. So again, step, point, drop, iron groove, front sweep. Almost like a roundhouse kick. This is setting up the next kick too. It's called it's been back kick, but we're doing it from the ground. So I'm going to drop, bring my legs here, side kick. Notice how I'm looking forward as I do it. Foot sideways, 
And as I land, I want to make sure I land wide. This will set up my next move too. So as I land, I land wide. From here, I can do the next two moves pretty easily. Let's go through it a few more times though. So let's go ahead and go through those first three moves. So again, step through, drop. Iron through the sweep, cut the leg, front sweep, side kick. I'll land wide, I bring that hand up. So I'm gonna bring the hand up. We're gonna chop across. So we're gonna do a chop through to the head. And from here, we're going to do a punch. We're gonna punch with the other hand. We're gonna punch, pull back the other hand. Notice the push and pull. So again, chop, punch. And as I stand up, I should be set up for a front stance really easily. I don't need to move this leg since I landed so wide. I'm gonna stand, shift, looking this direction, guarding uppercuts. So again, guard up. Let's go through that all together. All right, let's go through that. Actually, let's guard uppercut a few more times. So again, I landed. I'm going to stand. We're going to uh, chop, punch. We're going to turn. Think about this hand coming up like this. We're going to step. Notice how I'm guarding uppercut. So we're going to guard uppercut. Notice the movement of both together. Four seasons all put together now. Let's start with season one. Fighting stance. Rear leg round. Slide hook. Step through spin hook. Rear leg axe kick. Shift. Sliding double roundhouse kick. Going straight to season two. Sliding double round. One, two. Sliding side kick. Jump back. Pop. Side kick. Shift for season number three. Sliding front. Inside. Vertigo. Pop up. Hook kick. I'm going to start by this uh, by stepping into this next one. So I'm going to step with that left leg. Notice how I set it up and when we're doing it individually. Step, turn, drop. Iron broom. Front sweep. Side, land, chop, punch. We're going to stand up. Shift, guarding upper deck. Notice how I finish in the front stance facing forward. Okay guys, uh, nunchuck time. So uh, hopefully you guys have your nunchucks at home. Go get those. Um, if you don't have nunchucks, you know, again, get creative. You can get uh, like a towel, you can get, uh, you know, a piece of rope that you can use as a nunchuck. Um, but I got my nunchucks here. We're actually gonna start with some drills today. Okay, the first drill um, is uh, just the forwards and backwards rotation. Now, your grip is the key. Okay, um, you want to grab about one thumb's distance from the top. Hopefully you guys can see that. Not too low here. You grab too low, you can see these things get wild and out of control. Okay, grab near the top. And what we're going to do first is just forward rotations. Okay, I'm just rotating this forward, getting a nice tight circle with these. And you want to do this long enough that you should actually feel your forearm kind of burning. Those muscles are really being worked here. And this helps you to move this nunchuck a lot faster, having these nice tight circles. Just keep going. Okay, guys. Now let's start going backwards with that nunchuck. Okay. I think I need to oil my nunchucks. They're getting kind of noisy. Okay, so this is a great drill if you guys are practicing everywhere with those nunchucks. You always start with forward rotations, backwards rotations. And of course, nunchucks, we gotta do both hands. Let's do the other hand forwards. Good. And then let's go backwards with those nunchucks. You see how they're going forward, they're not going off to the, you sometimes you'll see people going off to the side. Hopefully you guys can see what's going on here. They're going to go like to the side. You want to get those either going straight forwards or straight backwards. Okay? So those are your forwards backwards rotations. Let's do shoulder catches next. So, um, again, grip is important. Grab one thumb's distance from the top. I want to bring this to the back of my shoulder. And hopefully in the camera, uh, you guys can see that the nunchuck is sticking out here. 
If you have it behind your back too much, you know, this is going to be really tough to catch. Okay, so I want to catch, you know, right underneath my armpit like this. And I'm going to grab it in that hand and bring it to the other side. And again, hopefully you can see that nunchuck kind of dangling out here. I reach across the stomach, not behind the back, and I grab, and then to the other hand, and the other hand, and the other hand, and I switch, switch. And you want to catch the nunchuck here instead of, you know, feeling for it. And so you actually want to catch that. And as soon as you're catching, you're transitioning to the next one. So you can see how there's a bit of a, a flow to this. Okay? So these are your shoulder catches. They're a great drill. Um, with that is time yourself. Um, if you can do 60 in one minute, that means you're pretty good. And that's one per second. Um, if you're in that low range, you know, 15, 20, even 30, um, it means you're kind of fumbling with them a little bit too much. So um, if you need a little bit of extra practice, you know, pause the video here and really work on those shoulder catches. Um, it's going to make the form a lot easier. Okay? If you guys do feel comfortable, let's move on and go to the next row. Okay? So let's just do our, our back catches now. So our back catches, um, we simply start with the hip cradle on one side. And the cradle is uh, simply a way to keep the nunchuck moving. Okay? And the nunchuck is all about dissection. You don't know where the strike is coming from. So you're bouncing off your body so you can change angles. So when you're doing that hip cradle, you're not striking yourself. I see students do this, okay? You're actually taking the chain, or for most of you guys probably have a rope, and you're simply bouncing that rope or chain off your body, okay? Look at my hand, how the wrist is pointed down. If you have the wrist pointed out like this, this is where you start to strike yourself. Okay, so that wrist is pointed down. Okay, so I'm going to do a hip cradle, and once I bounce, I'm going to bring it around back and catch. And I've switched hands. Hip cradle, catch. Let me turn around backwards so you guys can see here. Okay? Again, hip cradle, catch. Hip, catch. The shoulder catches. Um, you know, your goal really should be 60 in a minute. You know, if you're at 50, that's pretty good. That's acceptable. Um, but anything lower than that, again, means you're kind of you're you're fumbling with them too much, and you don't have the coordination yet. So, um, if you need to, pause the video and just start practicing practicing these moves until you get good. Okay. Um, if you guys do feel comfortable, you know, you can get that 50 to 60 in a minute. Um, let's move on. Okay. The neck catch. Okay. The neck catch um, is again, this is a way of passing the nunchuck to, uh, you know, just make it kind of deceptive. You don't know where it's coming from. It's coming from all these different angles. I'm going to bring this up. Almost think like you're, like you're coughing. You guys know when you cough, we want to cover our, uh, our mouth with our, our shoulder or our elbow, not in your hand like this, okay? Um, uh, so you're going to bring that shoulder up, and you want to think about getting the nunchuck to rest on the other shoulder. Now, the way you grab it is important, okay? Um, if you grab on top, if you guys can see here, hopefully, that I've actually trapped myself. You see this arm went on top of this nunchuck, and now it's stuck because this arm trapped it. I actually have to come underneath here and grab it. Now this nunchuck is is free and I can easily pull it off. Okay, so let's try that again. Okay, um, we're gonna bring this around to a neck catch and look how I reach underneath here. And now control is in my opposite hand, left hand. So I'm gonna do a hip cradle, bring it back up. And again, I try to get it to rest on that shoulder. Don't reach on top, reach underneath, grab. Again, hip cradle, grab, hip, grab. And you can just pass this back and forth. And if you do miss the catch like I just did, just do another quick hip cradle and go back into the catch. These ones 
are a little tougher than the shoulder and the back catch. So, you know, your goal isn't 60 in a minute. If you can get like that 30 to 45 range, you're actually doing pretty good with these. Okay, so again. Um, Okay, guys, let's get started with the nunchuck form. Okay, we start at attention. So, okay, first move after that is ready position, stepping out with the right leg. Next, I'm going to step out with that right leg again into a horse stance, upper block shot. In! Knuckle to knuckle, down block. I'm going to turn that right hand inward, like so, bringing that, uh, that block to the outside. This is your outside block. Now, we turn to ready position with the left hand, turning inward, outside block. I'm going to keep control of my right hand. I'm going to go right hip cradle, left hip cradle, circle, catch. I'm going to go into a shoulder catch on the opposite side. Then I do a reverse figure eight about three, four times. It really doesn't matter exactly how many you do. You go about one, two, three, four. What you want to do is finish. As you're coming up in this direction, you actually bring it down to the hip, around, back, and catch. So I've switched control to my left hand. The left hand brings it around, hip cradle, around to the right hand. Now from the right hand, I'm gonna bring that up, around to the back of the neck and catch. Now control is in my left hand. I'm gonna do a hip cradle on the left side, bring it back up, neck catch. Now control is in my right hand, so I, will, I release with the left. I go right hip, left hip, back of the shoulder, back of the knee, catch. Now I'm gonna switch. But I actually keep control of my left hand. So I'm going to go hip, hip, arm, leg, catch. Now control is in my right hand. I'm going to go hip, hip, wrist roll, wrist roll, hip, catch. Unwind, ready position, okay, attention, and back. Okay, so let's do that again. Um, and uh, so we start from ready position. So again, number one is that four stand shout. Two is the down block, three, outside, four, outside, five, hip, hip, circle, catch, switch, reverse figure eight, again, about three, four rotations, hip cradle, come around, back catch, hip cradle, come around, back catch. Now, this is as far as the brown one belts have to know, but again, if you want to learn further, go ahead, you guys. Come around to a neck catch, hip cradle, neck catch, Hip, hip, arm, leg, catch, switch. Hip, hip, arm, leg, catch. Hip, hip, wrist roll, wrist roll, hip, catch. Unwind, ready position, and back. Okay guys, let me give you a side angle so you can see some of those moves. I'm gonna turn this way here. Okay, so again, we start at that, at that ready position. Again, number one, four stance. Number two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, Okay guys, I'm going to give you a quick tutorial here on the wrist roll. I, I realize this is probably the hardest part. Now they're called wrist rolls, but uh, you don't actually roll over the wrist, okay? They're called wrist rolls because you really need to flick that wrist to get this motion here. You're actually rolling over your knuckles when you do this. Um, so it always helps to start with the hip cradle. Um, that gives you a little bit of momentum, a little bit of bounce. So I'm going to do a hip cradle on this side. And what I need to do is I need to turn that wrist. And as I turn, these nunchucks are going to wrap around and come to the other, uh, the, the same hand, but to the other side of the handle. So I basically switched handles here. Now you can see how I have an upside down grip. Okay, so again, I'm going to go hip cradle on this side. And after that hip cradle, I'm going to rotate. And you see how I switched grips and I have it upside down. Now from here, if I catch it right about here, I'm gonna bring that to this hip, and now I'm gonna flip it back to the original grip. 
And again, if I catch it right about here, I'm gonna bounce it, hip cradle, like so. I catch it out here, bounce, hip cradle, hip cradle, hip cradle from side to side, like so. And I realize this is the move that people struggle with the most. Uh, for most people, it takes, it just takes a little bit of time. Okay, and one day it eventually clicks, so don't get too frustrated. Keep practicing it. Um, you know, if you got padded nunchucks, just practice around the house. Walk around with these. When I first learned nunchucks, I had a pair with me at all times. I just walked around and I kept practicing. Uh, my parents hated it because uh, you know, I kept spinning them, but you know, fortunately they were padded and never broke anything. Um, so we're gonna get started on that nunchuck form, you guys. 